Hey guys, today's video we're gonna be unboxing this um secret space box crate crate. Yep. And I'm um, also here with Christian on the rise on the side. And also, I'm doing this for our channel. Make sure to check out my channel link below. Click up one on one. And yeah, let's get right to it. So it comes with what's in the box. Everything looks backwards because I have to flip the screen. There's, oh, there's stuff on the back. And then there's a third page. Okay. So this is about Taiki. Taiki is the goddess or deity of fortune, chance, providence, and fate. Taiki is the daughter of Aphrodite. And either Zeus or Hermes. She was usually honored in more favorable light as Uchia, goddess of good fortune, luck, success, and prosperity. Alright, first thing we're going to be looking at, we got green wrapping paper. It's nice. So, this is the candle it comes with. Alright, Taiki, money, draw, candle. This candle was crafted with alfalfa and three-leaf clover. Good luck clover is actually three-leaf, not four. And hand-rolled by myself with the intention of bringing you success with prosperity and in connecting with Taiki. Simply place the candle along with Taiki in front of your table or floor. Cast a circle using salt, which is suggested, or with your wand. You want to make the energy from the candle spell and from your Taiki statue as concentrated as possible if you have a large enough space then sit in the casted circle sit in silence and set your intention light your candle and your spelling your witch's coin for money draw the coat in the wax it melted wax and allow it to harden this is place your coin will have a message the coin at the bottom of the candle where the candle will stand while burning while the candle burns, read your Taiki invocation or prayer or both. While the candle burns down all the way down, spend time in meditation connecting with the Taiki. So it's a money candle. So that's pretty cool. That's what's cool about the whole box. It kind of, everything kind of leads to a spell. Hey, Christian, I know. But now we got this lovely incense. Prosperity incense sticks. And as you guys know, I absolutely love incense. I burn them all the time. These incense sticks were spell crafted for drawing in money, luck, and success in any endeavor for prosperity. These also make a wonderful offering to Tai Chi. I have included seven incense sticks, and seven is the number of good luck. Burn and enjoy the smells of sandalwood, plumeria, along with the sweet scents of cinnamon based prosperity blend. How much is it? Does it smell good? Yeah. Try it. Oh, that does smell good. Okay. <laughs> next, uh, next up is packaging. I call them things curly cues. Curly. <laughs> no, these are now pronounced curly. Almost fries. all the boxes come with them. So, I want comment below hashtag curly fries. Oh, there you go. Curly fries. Next to this beautiful box of pictures, we have this alpha leaf that's covered in bubbles all right alfalfa leaf in herb bottle alfalfa is a feminine feminine herb on the earth element it is ruled by venus alfalfa is the bringer of prosperity making it very effective when using in prosperity magic alfalfa leaves make a great offering to tai Chi as well just place it in an offering bowl or scatter around her sacred space drink in a tea for money and good luck Burn a pinch over your money draw candle as it burns. Here are some more magical uses for alfalfa. Um, you can eat alfalfa sprouts to bring in prosperity. You can protect your home with it, um, protect your property. You can weave it together and make an ambulance, um, and you can add it to your cooking. And I like, because this is glass, right? Yeah. It comes in a little glass bottle, and it just sits on your cabin, your little shelf. Can't not forget about this nice wrapping paper. Ugh. On the next up of this magical adventure, we have a bracelet covered in this thing. The gold bag. The gold bag. Worth $10 million. Now let's open this magical thing. 
Okay, this is a Triqueta Aventurine and Hermitite bracelet. This is a good luck bracelet. It's gorgeous and full of energy with green Aventurine and Hematite stones. Green Aventurine is known as the good luck stone and is often used in rituals with green candles or kept in cash boxes or drawers to attract money. It has soothing energy behind it and is recommended for working through unresolved emotional issues as well as connects you to nature. Hematite helps to absorb negative energy and calms in times of stress and worry. It's a very protective stone and is great to carry to help you stay grounded in many struck situations. It's also good for helping with the root chakra, helping to transform negative energies into more positive vibrations. And the triquetra is a magical symbol that represents a female energy combining the powers and mind, body, and spirit along with the three phases of a woman's life. Let's see. I look so fancy, though. Oh, here it is. I actually wear this, the symbol. What is Maya doing outside? I don't know. She's but going see, to the car. Is she trying to steal the car now? See, I wear it, too. And my symbol. I'm so fancy. No, let it go. Okay. On the next of this magical adventure. I see her. Um, I right, have this next? bag. And it's black. Black. And now we must see what's inside this bag. The terror, so black. And what we're going to pull out. All right, what's next is a witch's coin. This is a very unique witch's coin. Should become a staple in your magical workings. As a talisman, it will easily absorb your spells that you place within it since it's specifically created for such. A witch's coin will become very attracted to the witch who owns it. The easiest way to spell this coin is to use candle magic. When you are burning a spell candle, place the coin under the candle so that it will burn all the way down, covering the coin in a spell wax. Dig the coin out of the wax, but leave a coating of the wax on the coin. Now carry your coin with you as the spell manifests. The coin should be stored in a black velvet bag when it's not used to protect it from absorbing outside energies. Next one. Here we go. Did you? Yeah, I did this for six. You have the coin. That's pretty. Oh, it's yeah. got the thing. Oh, I gotta see what's in here first. Oh, wow, this one is a beautiful one. Okay. Next is in a gold bag. It's the pyrite stone. Pyrite is also known as the stone of luck to attract uh, abundance, wealth, and prosperity to the user via its creative energies of manifestation and encouragement to follow your dreams. It is a stone of action, will, and vitality. It will help you reset, reset the brain so that you will have new ways of thinking. You and not only is? deflects negative energies, but also helps release negative inhabiting behavior patterns. The element is fire, planet Mars, sign Leo, chakras, sacral, and solar plexus, empowers divination, shielding, and money. Ooh, that's really pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, it's heavy. <laughs> I think it's made out of gold. That is so pretty. I... See, I'm now wow. Zach Hall ASMR now. That is gorgeous. This and this next magical adventure we have. This is Caladula Organic Solve Slap. This month I decided to make you this. I grew and harvested this can Calendula from my own garden. I live in a tropical climate, so I have the luxury of growing most plants all seasons. Calendula is a full of skin healing, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory properties. Properties that might make it useful in healing wounds. Soothing eczema, acne, sunburns, chapped skin, lips, dry or cracked skin. Healing rashes, including relieving diaper rash. Really cool. Does it smell good? Smell. No. It does. Chapstick. Yeah, it's like chapstick. It feels nice. It doesn't feel any bad. Yeah, some more time. Do you hear that ASMR, people? No? Okay. All right, la um, 
Money, this is a money draw prosperity mojo bag. I personally spelled and crafted each of these mojo bags to bring in prosperity to the one who holds it. It's also a good idea to keep it charging by Tai Ki in her sacred space while you are not using it. Carry it with you whenever you need good luck. Um, it has a green drawstring pouch. Green is chosen to represent money. Um, Feng Su coin. The mojo bag is tied with a Chinese coin to bring in the energies of prosperity. Oh, there you go. Um, a cinnamon stick. Cinnamon is one of the most have multi-purpose herbs in the green witch's stock. It possesses a great amount of energy, and a pinch can be added to anything to rev up the power level. Um, a bay leaf, also known as the sweet bay and sweet laurel. Bay was used to crown the victor of games in ancient Greece and Rome. Bay is magically associated with success, wisdom, and div divination. Moss. Moss has the power to bring about good fortune and all sorts of money matters. Both through business success and through good luck and gambling. Um, periodic, periot, peridot, chips. The word peridot comes from the Arabic ferida, which means gem. But some believe in rooted in the Greek word peridona, meaning giving plenty. Perhaps that's why the peridot is famous for bringing in prosperity and good fortune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all that's in that bag. Yee. Mojo bag. On to the next one. Last but not least, this white box. <laughs> so what's in the white box? It comes ASMR. Okay, that's enough. Okay. What's inside the box? Three seconds for you guys to guess. Three. Two. One. All right. Inside this bag is ASMR. You guys get first look. Styrofoam. You you guys always like that styrofoam. All right, let's see. So first, all you want to see is styrofoam. Yeah. Not jingo of power. Next, we have this nice styrofoam out of the box. You see this lovely styrofoam. We broke a little bit, so you can't see that. Censored. No demon. Oh crap. No demonetization. It sounds more weird. And, all right. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Huzzah! The statue. So, this is Taiki herself. Taiki Fortuna statue. She will look lovely in any area of your home or office, bringing fortune and prosperity into your life. Fortuna holds for a new copia or horn of plenty with riches spilling over. She promises riches and presides over all the attributes of luck, fate, fortune, and destiny. Wearing a crown, large pendant, and veil, which blinds her as she was known to be impar impartial as well as blind to justice. She holds her cornucopia, which is overflowing with riches spilling out and gathering around her feet. Her flowing hair and gown are exquisit exquisitely detailed, giving you a museum-quality statue for home, hearth, and sacred space. Fortuna is a cast of cold cast risen and finished in bronze antiqued finish she stands approximately 11 3 8 inches tall she will aid you with luck good or bad wheel of fortune overflowing riches abundance aids pregnant women goddess of justice and fate she's gorgeous if you guys remember last month i got a uh, goddess aphrodite that's pretty right. well, look how long her hair is her hair is long. It's like down to her butt. So pretty. This nice. She's gonna go right next to Aphrodite. Since that is, she's known as Aphrodite's daughter. So she's gonna go right next to her mother on my stand. Subscribe. Dun, dun. All right guys. So this is everything that you see that came in this month's box. 
this cost me $45 a month um, plus shipping. I can't remember. I think it's like $54, I think, altogether with shipping. So this is awesome. I think these are awesome. You know, it stocks you up on stuff for your altar and things like that. But, yeah, this cost me $54 a month. Yeah, that's about it, you guys. Okay, you can. Want to say the max? Yeah. All right, guys, so that's the closing of this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, share with the world. And remember, let's let's explore history. I forgot your clock. Catch one. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you check out Kid Cop 101. I will link his channel up above and down below. And remember, let's make history, not get lost in it. Much love and respect. Peace out, y'all. Never boring in our household. Never boring. <laughs> Subscribe.